uh, Hydralis out in the field. Uh, but I'm a bit worried for Savior because the Terran uh, army will start to really mess up. Valkyries as well. That's really cool. I love seeing Val Valkyries in, in a TVZ. This is uh, real fantasy style stuff. This is definitely very similar to the fantasy build, and it really comes down to that Vulture Harass. We've got plus one armor god now. They're very important for Mutalisks versus uh, Terran Metal. But uh, at least that tank's been picked off now. We've got. Um, just trying to find out where the. Uh, the Mutalisks went to. We've got some more Mutalisks being, uh, being built over there. And uh, SCV looking for a bit more of, it, uh, of it, a bit more information. And Hatchery going down at the top right. So yeah, with all this harass going on and, um, and so forth, the uh, game's actually taking a fair bit to get underway. Before, before long we'll see the economy boom happening, I'm sure, but uh, for now it's just taking a little bit of uh, time to get off the ground. We've got a few Mutalisks out. Uh, Sharp's got, looks like, a lot of uh, Goliaths there, plenty to deal with the Mulus, some more on the way. Uh, adding two more factories, as I was just about to suggest he ought to. And oh, oh dear god, Savior actually just getting pummeled there with, with a combination of two Valkyries, a turret, and like seven or eight, eight by the looks, eight Goliaths with two more on the way, uh, or one tank and one Goliath on the way, sorry. A uh, huge force here for uh, for Sharp, and with a combination of, of only a few Hydralisks and Mulisks, uh, Savior's not really going to be able to do it. Once the suspension really starts to kick in, he's got another hatchery going down now, and another hatchery indeed, uh, as well as this thing up here. Engineering Bay spotting the, uh, the hatchery, so that's no problem there for, um, for Sharp. If I just take away the shared vision, let me just... yeah. Yeah. Not sure if he can see it. Maybe he moved out of range. Hard to tell. At any rate, don't know what these uh, hydrolysts are doing, but lots of posturing and uh, moving around. Just mainly for scouting purposes, I guess. Looking around for, for loose vultures. A lot of uh, Mulix being produced. And could this be a push, finally, from the Terrans? Uh, one one scary thing about playing against Zerg is that if you push out of your base, you... Oh! Lots of shots going off here. Oh! Mulix getting killed! Uh, one thing I was going to point out is that if you leave your base with too large a force, the Zerg can just slip in from behind and, and, and crush you. Uh, he's, he's only got a bunker with three Marines and, and three mines, so potentially a Hydralisk can stream in this and start killing. Don't know where the Sharp plans to take that expansion, but uh, maybe once the Zerg is distracted. And Savior may in fact be doing this. He knows that the Terran have, uh, have left. Uh, if he doesn't move back to defend, though, he's really going to start losing expansion. He's only got a few hundred of Mulus here. It's not going to be enough to deal with the Terrans out here. Uh, tanks sieging up. Savior's not going to go for the counterattack uh, at all. He's just going to try to return and deal with the threat, uh, as he probably should, because the Terrans have, have got a bit of a choke point here, and uh, with a lot of Goliath showing up, he'd be able to fight it off. So I think that's a wiser move uh, on Savior. Maybe a weaker player might have gone for the counterattack, but uh, Savior's playing correctly, I feel, so far. Uh, expansion going down and oh big attack coming in from Savior just charging in it and trying to surround but the tanks absolutely demolishing the Hydralisks uh, a bit of micro there from Sharp is required to pull back the Goliaths and start picking off the, the Mulus but these Goliaths are taking a lot of fire finally the, uh, the Valkyries show up and the Valkyries uh, should make a big difference against the the Mulusks indeed uh, trying to gun them down with their rockets but uh, oh a huge number of, 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 of Goliaths are streaming in and support and Savior losing a lot of Mulusks here Sharp is actually going to be able to take this, and he's got the tanks surviving, and that's crucial because those tanks can then absolutely slaughter the hatcheries and uh, sunken colonies especially. Uh, so really good attack there by, by Sharp, and he's just got just the right amount of troops. I'm really glad he did the harassment early on because had he not been able to do that, Savior may well have had the economy and the, the troops to stop him, but at the moment he's very hard pressed to do that. Uh, interesting that he's got uh, Scourges in to try and deal with the Valkyries, but he has to be very careful with them because if uh, if Sharp's uh, reaction time is very good, he'll, he should be able to take out the, uh, the Scourges very quickly before they can do any damage. And a few Zogans uh, moving in, uh, trying to get some hits up on the glass. It's going to be difficult though, the tanks are actually uh, one hitting them, I think. Uh, no, we haven't got, we haven't got uh, plus one army uh, weapons from the tank, by the way. And uh, these Mulus relentlessly chasing down the Goliaths, but more and more of them streaming in. Uh, and it's a very violent on both sides. Uh, it looks like Sharp pulling back now, down to four Goliaths, whereas uh, Savior's got about six. Oh, here's, that's actually more like nine uh, Mulus, and finally dealing with the tanks. So, crucially, Savior has defended that expansion, so very good play there by Savior. But in the meantime, uh, Sharp actually taking out the expansion at the top right. The, the Zerglings are there to defend. Uh, the sh uh, it's going to be tough. Is uh, Sharp going to go for the hatchery instead? Looks like he's going to, trying to pick it off. Dancing around the Zerglings, really not nice micro. Now he can just try to take out the Zerglings. 
He should be able to get most of them, if not all of them, with these Goliaths being so tough. But uh, here come the Middlers, try it. Uh, and this, the Middlers will be able to pick off the Goliaths, no problem. And uh, there you go. Uh, immediately after that happens, another hatch is going down. Sharp will notice that, but in the meantime, he can't really do too much about it except for build up more troops, which he is succeeding, successfully doing. Five uh, factories pumping out uh, mechanical units right now. Looks like we've got a science facility going down. Haven't actually got any upgrades rolling. I'm disappointed by that. We need to see more upgrades. He's got, oh, he's got plus one, one. So yeah, no, he can't actually get the upgrades until he's finished this uh, science facility. So that's why. My bad. Good that the Terrans have got the third base up though. Uh, as for uh, our Zerg friend Savia, a lot of uh, economy happening here. These two hatcheries really pumping it out. I uh, really like this position the hatchery. You can get a little bit quicker gas. Uh, from that uh, point there, and oh, harassment on the uh, the SVs, losing a couple before the Goliaths uh, finally show up to deal with them. Great thing about Goliaths is you can give them that Charon booster range upgrade. That upgrade is so good. Uh, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, an attack here fended off by Sharp pretty easily. The sheer amount of troops. I like how he's got the turrets uh, out in front too. That really gives him support on any middleist charging in to do a do a frontal assault in the space. Uh, another engineering bag, just because he lost the one up here, I assume. Good that he's got the SCV just to scout to make sure this uh, 12 o'clock uh, or 12.30 position hasn't been taken. 104 supply here. Oh, attack coming in from Savior. So Savior on 104 supply. Uh, Sharp is on 138. Uh, but this this base could lose a few SCVs. No, the Mulus pulling out. A lot of Mulus though, and a lot of Goliaths are gl uh, absolutely crumbling uh, there. Not the Goliaths, that is the Hydrals are absolutely getting crumbled. Uh, and wow, crazy stuff. Nothing happening on the evolution chamber. Looks like we've got, for upgrades, we've got uh, plus one carapace only for the Zerg. No ranged upgrades at all, but don't uh, forget we also had plus one uh, carapace for the flyers. And the Terrans are at 1-1, one, one. so I've got to give the upgrades advantage overall to the Terrans, just because uh, it's a bit more comprehensive and he's using only one type of upgrade to cater for all of his units because he's gone pure mech. More missile turrets out in front. Yeah, looks like uh, Sharp really knows how to play, uh, play metal quite well. He's doing this quite confidently and uh, quite uh, quite cautiously, uh, as you need to against Savior. And there's the third factory going down, uh, really building up. And I think what he wants to do is just wait for uh, a much bigger bigger supply, maybe between 170, 180 to about 190 supply, and then he can just really push out and just absolutely crush the Zerg. But a lot of uh, Mulus moving here to, to easily pop that uh, missile turret. And then moving it. Oh, th these guys are going to get a lot of kills in those SCVs if uh, Sharp doesn't pull back. He's taking out the turret and uh, not going to bother for the. Uh, oh, and Scourge charging to the the Valkyries, absolutely taking them out. So poor, poor play there. I feel by by uh, Sharp. Unfortunately, I think he should have pulled them back and waited for the Goliaths to arrive before engaging the Scourges. But that's a lot of uh, Jamutas and taking out the science facility. That's going to hurt. But luckily, the two two armor armor weapons have already been begun. So. Uh, that's no problem there, but oh, Goliath's moving in to actually intercept the Mutalus. This could be bad if Savior moves past those, and he is going to. Oh man, absolutely getting clobbered by the, the Goliaths. This is painful for Savior, losing so many Mutalisks. And uh, oh gosh, this is an absolute shower of rockets being punched in like that, and uh, this is really going to hurt. Savior's probably going to hit himself for doing this, because he didn't really kill any, uh, any SCVs. And he's just being hammered. He's lost at least half of those Mutalisks. And unfortunately for him, his opponent, Sharp, is on 156 supply, and he can now counterattack and do a lot of damage. So you actually see uh, tanks unseaging by the looks, and they're only unseaging for one reason, and that is to move across the, rap, uh, the map and make Savior pay for what just happened. Looks like Terran punishment is about to be dashed out, and I'm uh, really looking forward to that. In the meantime, uh, lots of SCVs left alive for Sharp, so no problem.